Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share with you our week seven baby update. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so as usual, I'm gonna go through our list of questions and talk to you about kind of what's gone on during our seventh week of pregnancy and share with you kind of where we're at. So let's go ahead and get started. The first question is how far along are you? I am technically eight weeks today, but we're gonna be talking about the week, the past week, so week seven. Um, total weight gain, I weighed myself yesterday, I think, and I hadn't gained anything, so zero for that. Maternity clothes, I'm not wearing maternity clothes, um, but I did purchase some like tunicky tops from Amazon because I wanted some things because we're planning on not telling our, we're not planning on telling our families for another month so I wanted to get some like flowy tops in case I do start to develop a little bit of a bump um, any stretch marks no not yet I am oiling religiously how are you sleeping I'm actually sleeping much better this week um, than I had been the first couple of weeks since like we found out and even before we found out I was really like tossing and turning a lot um, I will say the only thing that's really happened this past week is that I've had to get up a couple of times in the middle of the night to go to the restroom so that was a little bit um, weird just because that doesn't usually happen so that was the only thing that kind of disturbed my sleep but other than that I've been sleeping totally great and which is really really nice um, best moment this week? Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Our ultrasound was the best moment this week. That was actually at the very beginning of our seventh week. Um, so that was really, really exciting and just really cool to see, you know, have it like really feel official. <laughs> like get to see the baby move and, um, you know, the heartbeat and we, we got some pictures, which I'll share with you guys also, but just all that is really cool. And then we also did schedule our um, photo shoot that we're going to do as our announcement for our family on Christmas. So I'm um, just talking with our photographer and we I told him and he was super excited. So those two moments have been really, really exciting and making it feel so much more real. Um, am I missing anything? I am not missing anything. Um, any movement? No, not yet. Other than like, you know, stuff shifting around inside of me, but no, no baby movement. Um, any food cravings? So the only cravings I've had this week, um, I had a couple of days where I really wanted like spicy food and I hate spicy food. Um, one day I literally had like a taste in my mouth for jalapenos, which I, I don't like spicy, I don't like peppers, like none of that stuff, so that was really weird. And then the other thing is that I've really been wanting a lot of orange juice and like citrus and really just kind of fruit in general. Um, I don't know if it was this... I think it was last week that I wanted a smoothie and so I went and got a smoothie first thing before I went to work um, and I've been making a bunch of smoothies in the mornings for me, myself for breakfast which have been really good and really like satisfying my like fruit um, like craving I guess you could say. Um, anything making you queasy or sick? Okay yes. <laughs> um, I have had a little bit of like morning sickness and it kind of starts like mid-morning um, and it will kind of come and go throughout the day. What I did find has been really helpful is that I've started to eat something in the middle of the night so those times when I am waking up to go to the restroom or I wake up to just like turn over I have this little like whole wheat pancake that I've been making and I put peanut butter on it and leave it at my bedside table in like little chunks and I just pop one in um, when I if I happen to wake up in the middle of the night. And I read that that was been really, really helpful because it helps to put something in your stomach. And I, I read that there's like a theory that morning sickness happens because your stomach is empty. And if you think about it, when you sleep for eight to 10 hours, which who sleeps for 10 hours a night, but like when you sleep for seven or, you know, six, seven or eight hours, that's a long stretch without anything being in your tummy. And so adding a little bit of, you know, nutrition into yourself will really help to kind of stabilize, um, the like sickness basically that's happening so that's really been helping and so I would definitely recommend that for anyone who's kind of struggling with a little bit of morning sickness um, but the thing that was making me a little queasy was I made my husband's um, shake and I haven't had any desire for anything chocolate so I've been really skipping our Shakeology shakes I had like one this week um, and I just did like a small one for myself like half of a serving and I had to like force myself to drink it because I know it's really good for me, but it's something that I have not desired at all. So I made my husband's yesterday and as I was pouring it into like his cup um, for him to like, you know, take it in the morning out of the blender, 
I got like on the wrong side of like pouring the blender and something about it just like made me nauseous like instant like violently nauseous it was very very surprising I would say um, so that's something that's definitely been kind of different and new um, and that hasn't happened with very many things so that's really the biggest thing I think that and then my mom's coffee candy the other week so it's just kind of like random things like that every now and then that will like catch me off guard I'm like oh no nope, gotta get away <laughs> Um, any gender guesses? I don't have any right now. I think the way that my cravings are and like the things I've been like wanting to eat, like I've definitely been wanting um, like salty things and like nothing sweet, but then I've also been wanting like citrusy things. So I feel like as far as like cravings and things like that go, they're kind of leaning towards like both ends, like towards boy or girl. So who knows at this point? Labor signs? No, thank goodness. Any symptoms? Um, I think the only symptom I'm still having is just being really tired and then again having a little bit of nausea and like just kind of morning sickness throughout the day. And thankfully I haven't gotten sick. Um, I've just been a little bit like, uh, like uneasy kind of like, you know, queasy tummy sort of a thing. Belly button in or out, it is still in. And then wedding rings are still on. Um, happy or moody most of the time, definitely happy unless I get to that point where I've like hit the wall and I'm really tired all of a sudden, then I get like a little bit cranky and I just have to like go put myself in bed or like away because otherwise I get kind of snappy. And what are you looking forward to? <laughs> he agreed. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to? Oh my gosh, everything. Still like just telling our families and next week we're going to do our pictures. So looking forward to that and just everything. Um, the thing that I think is making me a little nervous, today is Thanksgiving, so we're going over to my aunt's, so we're going to be with all of our family, and I'm nervous to just, like, not be able to talk about this, and nervous that, like, I'm going to say something that will be evident to someone that we are expecting, so I feel like every day I'm like, what am I saying? Like, I'm not talking very much to people because I just am trying to monitor, like, what is actually coming out of my mouth, because all I can think about is the fact that we're going to have a baby soon, so it's really crazy, but that is the things I'm most looking forward to. And then a belly shot. So let's look at the belly. I'm in my workout clothes, like super nothing fancy. So let's take a look at this. All right guys, so that is our seven week baby update. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are expecting or hoping to be expecting, definitely let us know in a comment below. We'd love to know how far along you are and what you're most looking forward to. And thank you guys again for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day.